The book also contains a serious analytic treatment of Congress as an institution within a, a political context, and that's important. The last chapter is called, is called Still Broken, um, and that's where he develops this notion of the problem is the culture of Congress. Now here, I want to make an argument that his emphasis on the culture of Congress turns eyes away from other things that he says that I think are more consequential and important. Just remember, the culture of Congress didn't change between the 111th and 112th Congress, but it's day and night. It's because the context was dominating. The Republican House made it, made it impossible for anything uh, to happen. I would, I would argue the culture is, is more a symptom of, uh, of, what's, uh, of what's going on, and with it comes a whole set of, of, uh, of problematics and consequences. But it's clear what's driving the culture that he is talking about in this book is, is the emergence of partisan polarization, uh, which came after that great period of the Golden Senate that Chris Dodd uh, referred to, in which there was no overlap that uh, you know, that a leader could work with in the other party because everyone was, uh, uh, was absolutely uh, apart. Secondly, during that period of time, the Democrats were in control big time, large majorities. The House and the Senate Democrats had been in control since Eisenhower's first, first term, first Congress, and frankly, Republicans were kind of tame. They realized if they were going to get anything done, they had to do business with Democrats. And a lot of them, a, a class of problem-solving conservative or moderate Senate Democrats made a huge difference. And there were a good number in the House as well. Republicans, excuse me. But when, when we got to parity, first, first with the Senate, with the 1980 election, when when Chris was elected, and then the 1994 election, suddenly either party could win a majority. And that's what turned, I think, members of Congress, many of them from being, from being problem solvers and legislators to politicians. You, because they were under such pressure saying, well, this one piece of legislation, this one amendment could be the wedge issue that determines if we're in the majority or not.